and such progress. Oh, I could feel the effect of the penetrating rays of knowledge on my awakening brain. I can't deny the fact I was delighted with it and I never overestimated. Ladies and gentlemen, with an effort that up to this point has never been repeated on earth, I have attained the average education of a European. Well, that would perhaps not amount to much, but it is something so far has led me out of the cage and created this special way out for me, the way of humanity. I had no other way, always assuming that freedom was not meant to be my choice. If I review my development and its goals up to this point, I don't complain. But I am not content. With a bottle of whiskey and fruit on the table, I sit on my chair and gaze out of the window. If I have a visitor, I welcome them as is appropriate, and my secretary sits outside in the parlour. If I ring the bell, she will come and listens to what I have to say. In the evening, I almost always have an engagement. Well, my success could hardly rise any higher. And when I come home late at night from a banquet, a scientific society or social gathering, I have a half-trained male ape waiting for me. And I take my pleasure with him the way apes do. During the day, I don't want to see him, for he has in his gaze the madness of a completely confused and broken animal. I'm the only one who can see that, and I cannot bear it. But on the whole, at any rate, I have achieved what I wish to achieve. You shouldn't say that my effort wasn't worth it. In any case, I don't want any human being's judgment. I only want to impart knowledge. I simply report, even to you, ladies and gentlemen of the Academy, I have only made a report. Difficult to believe. Oh dear madam, could you just help me with the coat? Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Thank you.